Uh, my name is Victor Shiro. I'm a native Southern California landscape painter. Uh, this is all that I do as a, as a painter is uh, landscapes. My name's Al Galeen and I've lived in the community for uh, close to 50 years now. And all my life while uh, in the county, I've been involved in agriculture directly and indirectly. Uh, I worked for the Lehman Air Company for some 30 years and I still work for them occasionally. Primarily the reason I chose this subject is that my entire childhood was really uh, uh, living and playing in this environment. The part of uh, Southern California where I grew up was Granada Hills, which is in the north San Fernando Valley. And uh, it was very, very rural then. This would be in the 50s, 1950s. And much the way uh, a large, uh, the greater part of Ventura County is today. The main threat uh, in Ventura County, uh, I would say, is uh, urbanization. Uh, Ventura County is a remarkable uh, place. It has great weather, uh, uh, it's close to municipalities. Uh, and so uh, where you can grow lemons, uh, because lemons require moderate climates, uh, uh, it's also a great place for people to live. And so there's always this tension, agriculture versus society. Uh, and so there's that interplay uh, that, that always exists. Uh, in Ventura County, because of planning, because of, uh, of trying to be good neighbors, uh, farmers and uh, non-farmers have, have done pretty well, actually. In, in One of the things that I like a lot in, in all landscape painting is what would be called uh, split complementaries. The green and the blue uh, act in a very complementary way to that very powerful purple shadow. So really, that's, that's a big part of the subject of this painting, is the lavender, the intense lavender of that shadow. If you look up closely, you'll see it is very powerful, lavender. But when you fall back, the, the, your, you know, one's uh, uh, preconception of how things look in the real world you, it just falls right in as a very believable shadow. Uh, by breaking the frame, by composing things that break the frame, such as this, you see this eucalyptus here. Well, here is obviously uh, another one that is off frame, and these trees are going off, so there's no real center of interest. And what that does is implies that there's much more going on outside of the frame of this subject, and, it, and the paintings tend to breathe more when I approach composition with that idea. There, it appears to be some uh, 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 barrancas or perhaps uh, some other things on this side and uh, trees are planted there to, uh, uh, for windbreaks and also for er erosion. You'll see wildlife uh, enjoying you know, entire cycles of uh, raising families and you'll see all kinds of wonderful wildlife uh, in the citrus orchards, which are really like forests. I had two children now that are adult. I've always encouraged them to develop uh, skills in music and in art, but not necessarily as a career, just because it's a, it's a good thing to be aware of, to be aware of music, be aware of, of uh, good, good literature and, and, and art, but it doesn't mean you have to devote yourself to it necessarily. You'll find your way as you go.